Hey guys, D-Man Biker again. Um, today I'm going to show you a little bit more about how armor works in ACF for those who are less inclined or just uh, don't understand all the things with uh, ductility and prop size and, and things of that nature. Um, so just to start out, I just want to show you this little uh, test that I set up here right in front of us. Uh, we've got we've got two armor plates that appear to be the same size. They're both 100 millimeters uh, thick, or 100 armor, whatever you want to say, and uh, and they both have the same ductility. I believe the ductility is set to 50. Yes. Okay. So there's a difference between these two plates, but it's not readily apparent. It's that this plate has more health than this plate, but they have the same ductility. So how does it have more health? Health in ACF is pretty important because that means that uh, this plate can theoretically take more hits than this plate can. The armor value is just talking about uh, whether or not a projectile will penetrate this plate. Uh, if this plate gets hit and not penetrated, it's going to lose health. And the amount of health it loses depends on the angling and various other things, but um, we're not really going to talk about that. Let's figure out why this plate has more health than this plate, even though they're both 48 by 48. The reason for that is prop size. Yes, this plate is thicker like physically, than this prop. That is why it has more health. So prop size does matter. See a larger plate, for instance. See, watch this. I'm gonna spawn uh, 84 plate, and I'm gonna give it the same values: 100 armor, 50 ductility. It has 332 health. It's the same thickness physically as this prop, but it has way more health because it's significantly larger. So when you make a tank, um, let me uh, see if I can find you an example in one of my older tanks here really quick. Let's spawn that Super H21. Here we go. Okay, when you make a tank, you want to use the biggest plates that you can for all your surfaces. You don't want to, um, you, you do not want to, uh, like for instance, you wouldn't want this top part to be made of several smaller parts. So that's one of the main weaknesses with this tank is uh, these upper, uh, these upper uh, glacis on the uh, turret are smaller props. They're angled fairly well so they don't tend to get destroyed. But a smaller plate like this can get destroyed in a single shot, regardless. Like, these are max ductility, and they can just get blown off. But um, the angle is such that when projectiles hit, hit this, they tend to ricochet, which does far less damage to the armor plate and its health value. So you can usually stay uh, alive in that aspect. Hang on just a second. Okay, that was unfortunate. See, like this plate right here, if if you, this plate got shot, it's only got 24 health. This thing's going to get blown off. Like this thing gets hit by a 100 millimeter gun, it's done. Uh, <laughs> but just because it gets destroyed, that means that the projectile didn't penetrate, so it still is okay. Uh, so basically when you make... This, this is just so confusing to uh, say, but when you make a tank... Uh, your side pieces and, and smaller pieces should have lower ductility because if they have lower ductility they are still rigidly thick like these are these right here these are here because if a projectile was to hit like right on this seam here of the turret it could potentially blow this plate off or this plate off because it's hitting on the side so it doesn't get that extra ricochet action uh, but these are here because if the projectile hits this, it'll hit this plate and it will blow it off. But it won't cause as much damage to these plates because it hit this 100 millimeter plate first. So really small plates generally should have uh, very low ductility like in, in the negatives 
and high armor thickness because that because the higher the health is the more the plate is going to weigh so that makes this see this thing only weighs uh it weighs 200 i'm not sure what the ductility is on these plates but uh even if i give it max ductility it's still going to get blown off in one shot because the plate's so small the key is to have big plates see if i if i spawn the original h21 uh original super h21 whatever you want here it is. This was a big problem with the original turret. Hopefully you guys are understanding this a little bit. This plate right here, even though it's 250 millimeters thick, very high ductility, it weighs an insane amount. Uh, there's almost no sloping at all, so shells would just crash into this, just BOOM! And this thing would get blown off in, I don't know, a few hundred millimeter shots, no matter, regardless of how thick it is. Like, if you have a tank, I've seen this before, where someone will make a tank, and it'll, it'll have a plate on like the back that's like this and it'll be like 700 millimeters thick but it it doesn't have enough health so see watch we, we can do a demonstration right now I guess uh, hang on a second what kind of gun is this? this is a 100 millimeter cannon uh, looks like it's firing AP tracer rounds okay so that's gonna give it 200 mils of pen? Yep, 200 mils of pen. Uh, so, let's put this thing right here. You know, just right in front of this cannon like this. And then let's take out our armor tool. Let's make this like some absurd thickness, like 500. And let's give it max ductility to have most health possible. Okay, so it's got f about 40 health, and it's got 500 armor thickness. This gun only has... What the fuck? Why is this here? Oh, because... Oh, that's part of the... Okay, never mind. That's part of the thing I duped. Okay. So... 500 millimeters of armor thickness. This shouldn't be able to be penetrated by anything in the world, right? Doing this on the fly. Didn't set this up ahead of time. Okay, so the shell did not penetrate. But let's shoot it again. Let's shoot it again. Look at how low the armor is now. It's lost over half of its armor. And it's gone. How many shots was that? Like, five shots? Like, if that was a key plate on your tank, it would get destroyed in five shots. From a 100mm cannon. If this was a 120mm gun, it most likely would have blown that plate up in a single shot. Some of these shots were actually penetrating uh, back to this point. So you don't want to use a bunch of small plates. Um, if I could try to explain it better, uh, you know, like some people might be tempted to put a bunch of small plates, right, along the glacis. But if one of those small plates gets destroyed, there's just going to be a hole in your frontal armor. Same with like the weird applique armor. People like will put a bunch of little plates like all over this. But as soon as one of those is hit, it's going to get destroyed. Sure, it won't damage your glacis. But it's just extra weight. Nothing's gonna blow this up from the front. It's the angle's too heavy. A shell hits this, this uh, glacis here, 65 millimeters thick, but it's angled back at 80 uh, degrees. It's like over 300 millimeters effective. Uh, shells are just gonna ricochet off this and do basically no damage. It's got 200 health. 200 health is a really good health to aim for for your frontal plates, by the way. This bottom plate's only 175 millimeters. Uh, but it's angled back at 30 degrees. The newer, um, which means that it's got double that armor thickness. It's got uh, 350, and it's got 144 health. Most shots are just going to ricochet off this into the ground. See that the higher the angle that a shell hits a plate at, then uh, the the less damage it's going to do. See, let's let's demonstrate that again with this. 
So let's go ahead and uh, freeze this first. And then let's. Uh... Oh, yeah, I, need, I wanted to unweld it because it gets welded to the ground. It's not welded to that, right? Okay. Okay, so first, let's let's see what this thing's set to. So we've got uh, no armor, but very high ductility. So let's set this thing to, uh, let's just set it to 150 armor with, uh, let's do 40 ductility. So it's going to have 400 health and uh, 150 armor. Let's fire the gun. Okay, so shot most likely penetrated. It lost uh, 40 health and uh, 100 and oh no, it lost about eight millimeters of armor from that damaging shot. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my. Nah, we can just do it this way, I guess. Uh, let's see here. Sorry if this is going really slow for you. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and fix this plate really quick here. Didn't plan ahead. Okay, so it's back to uh, around what it was at before. Just gonna dupe this for now. Okay, so let's try giving this plate a better angle. Let's give it a 45 degree angle here. So shot's gonna impact here. This is gonna be over 200 millimeters effective. Let's fire. Shot ricochet. You saw it go up in the air there. Now let's check. So it lost about 40 health before. It lost about 40 health again. Maybe we actually got it. Maybe it penetrated. Let's see here. <laughs> How embarrassing. Okay, so let's give it a better angle, shall we? So let's. I'm just going to get out my. Uh, Okay, here it is. So let's give it about a, a 30 degree angle like this. Now let's see what happens. Took the shot right there. Okay, so it just took a shot, right? The shot definitely ricocheted at this angle. How much health did this plate lose? This plate lost, before it was losing 40 health, right? When the shot was actually penetrating. And the health is going to depend on the caliber gun you're getting hit by, by the way. Um, okay, so it lost 12 health. Yep, 12 health. It lost, even, it lost, lost less millimeters as well. So the higher the angle, the more chance that energy is going to be directed away from the armor and it's going to do less damage to your health pool. So a very heavily angled plate can have a lower ductility because it doesn't need as much health. And as far as me and uh or uh whatever Sir Dobbers and I whatever you want to hear. As far as we could test, the ductility does not seem to affect the overall armor uh thickness of the prop. So, like, if you have a 200 millimeter uh, thick plate with uh, 80 ductility, it, it's gonna it's gonna have the same propensity to deflect shots as a 200 millimeter plate with uh, uh, like negative 40 ductility. But the thing is, the 200 millimeter plate with negative 40 ductility is gonna have a lot less health, so it's gonna take more damage uh, relatively than the 80 ductility prop. So, it'll get destroyed sooner than the 80 ductility prop. That's, like, it, it seems to imply in a lot of, like, the, you know, like, the research and stuff, I don't know, forums, whatever you want to hear, that, that, that the higher the ductility, the easier it is to penetrate. But I think what that's actually saying, at least this is what we figure, is a higher ductility prop weighs more than a lower ductility prop at the same thickness. So per weight unit, the uh, lower ductility is gonna have a higher armor protection, though it's still gonna have a lower health pool. So uh, 
if you don't mind the extra weight, you want to have your ductility as high as possible. It's still useful on the sides and stuff to have really to have lower ductility because uh, they'll weigh less. Like, like if this plate back here was like a hundred millimeters and it had like negative forty ductility, uh, and and I shot it with like a fifty millimeter gun with like ninety penetration, it would still stop that shell. The plate might get destroyed sooner, but it's still gonna stop the shells. Like uh, just like I showed you with with. Uh, with those little applique armor plates on the on the other S H twenty one, those plates when they get hit, they get destroyed, but it doesn't do damage to the plate behind it. Like the the odds of penetrating are still the same for those plates. Like a hundred millimeter plate with low ductility versus a hundred millimeter plate versus high ductility. It's just that it takes less damage when uh, the shell can't actually penetrate. Plus, it can add extra armor to to the area on top. So, like, if you have like hundred millimeter plate plates everywhere that have very low ductility, they they'll get destroyed when they're hit. But then the projectile has to go through a hundred millimeters more armor. Uh, the main thing I'm trying to point out is that if a lot of people will get like a whole bunch of these plates and they'll put them like all over the top of their tank, but if I shoot this plate and it gets destroyed. And I can just keep shooting that same spot. So basically there's no point in having a whole bunch of plates here. You might as well just have one really long plate. Uh, because this won't get destroyed as easily. Sure it'll get... It'll take damage if it gets hit on any of these sides. But I, I don't think that matters. It's You don't want to have giant weak spots on your armor. Like if we look at this tank. This is my uh, newest tank. It's got a... Uh, <clears throat> It's got a lower plate that's 220 millimeters thick and it's it's only angled at like 45 degrees but it has very high ductility so a shot's gonna hit this thing and n not much has enough penetration to get through 220 at 45 degrees and it's got 205 health so it'll be able to get hit a whole bunch of times and then this upper plate here it doesn't need as high a ductility, but it's 80 millimeters thick, and it's angled back at like a ridiculous angle. So shells are going to bounce off this too. The main concern on this tank is there's ammo in the turret, and since I like to have a uh, actual hole in the front of my turret, so I need these to be two separate props. But these two separate props are smaller props, so they cannot have as high of health as a bigger prop. See, 205 versus 121. But these are thicker props, so they would have even less health if they were uh, normal three thickness uh, as props like this. They'd have even less health. So these can take more hits than a thinner prop could. They weigh more, obviously, but they can take more hits, and that's all that matters. They're 175 millimeters thick, and they've got a compound angle. Shots are going to bounce off of these. This play right here, it's 200 millimeters thick. It's only got 40 health. So it could get blown off in just a couple shots, but uh, the way the armor is set up, it doesn't really matter. Um, so I'm just trying to ex explain to you guys, like, sometimes you want to use thicker props on your tanks because they'll be able to take more hits. For instance, if we if we get back out our uh, our our H21, the A H21A, the the way I got the front of the turret to take more hits is I added a big thick prop here, 300 millimeters, and it's thick. It's got uh, 91 health, which is pretty crazy for a plate of this size. So this would get destroyed, the front of the turret would get destroyed, and then this could take quite a few more hits because it's so thick in the prop size. The thickness does not add to armor value, but it will add to your health pool. The total volume of the prop is what determines your health. Like, for instance, these wheels have a whole bunch of health because, see, 476 health because they're high ductility and they're spherical. They make spherical, so they've got, like, a massive amount of health. Um, <clears throat> usually, though, when you make your wheels, you actually want your wheels to have um, about 10 armor. And the health doesn't really matter that much because uh, if you have really low armor and an HE shell lands right here, it'll just blow this off, all your wheels off. We've all seen it happen. And that's because HE shells 
this is another thing that, that seems wrong if you try to research it. HE shells still have an effect on armor. If something has minimum armor and they, it gets splashed by an HE shell, the HE shell won't really do any damage because it cannot penetrate 10 mil millimeters of armor. If you only have one millimeter of armor and like 400 health on your wheels, the HE shell will land here. It'll penetrate that one millimeter of armor and do a ridiculous amount of damage to your wheels. So it's important to have armor on your wheels. This is how you survive taking HE hits. You have armor on your wheels. That Have the health as high as you can get it, but try to have at least 10 millimeters of armor. It'll save you a lot of trouble with that. <clears throat> anyway, uh, let's just look at another example tank that I made to show you where having a thicker prop makes more sense because it can't handle the, the angles. So I gotta go into my off-brand tanks folder. I think, yeah, it's this tank right here. The M510. This is a tank that's made out of PHX. I just made it because it was interesting. See, this thing's got a big flat lower plate. But, it's 195 health. Like, you look at this and like, like you look at this versus this. This thing's it's close to this thing, but this plate's obviously bigger uh, from this this angle. But if we go inside, uh, this entire thing is is thick props. PHX props are more thick than uh, than you know the uh, S props. See that both of these are really thick. They've got like 200 armor. 200 armor is a really good uh, health to uh, aim for for like a 40 ton tank. Uh, probably 40 to 50 tons. 200 health. That's enough that if you got a decent angle, you're going to be able to block high caliber shells without these plates getting destroyed. See, 100 millimeters, 200 health. Very good. This thing right here is really small, but it's got 80 health, which is decent. And if the shell penetrates, it's going to hit this plate, so it's probably not going to penetrate here. And then this basically doesn't have an angle, but it is 200 health, so this will take quite a few hits. And if we look at this one, I am for 200 health too. See, 200 health, bigger plates, extreme angle on this. The shells are going to deflect off this. This right here is only 121 health. That's because the plate's smaller. Try to use bigger plates. So yeah, I mean, uh, hopefully some of you guys, I'm not doing the best job explaining myself here, but hopefully you guys understand a little bit more about what you need to do with your ACF armor. Okay, so let's just reiterate really quick on uh, what we're talking about here. So, as we saw with this test, it's not the plate size that dictates the health, it's the plate volume. So, if you have a smaller plate, you still want to give it the highest health possible, so you should make it thicker. It's going to weigh as much as a plate with the same armor and the same health, but it doesn't matter because if this plate gets blown off in one shot from a 140 millimeter, you're gonna die. So just try to get the highest health you can and only make your armor values adequate. Like if you've got a plate angled at like like 80, 80 degrees, like, oops, like this, like, ooh, this doesn't need to be 200 millimeters thick. That's gonna have like 800 millimeters of effective armor. Nothing's gonna penetrate this. You can make it 100 millimeters thick, and it's gonna take the, the ductility, like, if you make the ductility, like, uh, let's see here, armor properties. See, 300 thickness, four, 40 ductility, it's got 73 health. Watch this. 50 thickness. 40 ductility, it's got 73 health. It's purely based on size and ductility what the health is gonna be. So, there's no point in over armoring plates, you're just adding unnecessary weight. So like, if you've got a, a plate like this that's angled, this isn't gonna be penetrated. It, if this is 40 millimeters, it's not. It's gonna bounce off. So just keep that in mind when you're armoring your tanks. You don't need to have absurd 750 armor values. The, the biggest pen you're going to come across of any kind of tank that's going to be in your weight class is going to be like max 250 pen most likely. So there's no point in making armor that when it's angled is just like 500 millimeters. It just doesn't, it's just not necessary because it's going to take about the same amount of damage if it gets hit regardless. 
I mean, sometimes a really thick plate will take less damage because the, the armor just absorbs the shell, but it's, it's almost negligible. You want to try to keep your armor value within the threshold that you think you're going to get, uh, you're going to have fu guns firing at you. And then try to make the health as high as possible because the more plates you don't have destroyed, the more shots you're going to survive. Anyway, hopefully this has been enlightening for some people. I know it's not the best quality uh, tutorial, and I rambled a little bit, but, um, you know, just... If, if you're already experienced enough that you built some tanks, and you just want to understand the, the ductility and the angles and stuff a little bit better, uh, hopefully this helped you a little bit. If you have absolutely no idea what you're doing, probably helped you a little bit, but if you already understood all this stuff, tutorial probably didn't help you. It's obvious. Have a good one.